Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we got the Crochet It shawl just for you. So today we're going to make this beautiful shawl that you see and it's using Karen Simply Soft yarn. You can also use a Karen Simply Soft tweeds if you wish. I've done the tweeds version. I did my whole sample on an airplane over uh, going to, on a trip and so it's actually a really easy pattern to be able to maintain. Now at the time of filming this there's actually a mistake in the crochet diagram and I'm not sure when they're going to be able to fix it but I'm going to show you where that mistake is so that when you see it if you're going to use it then you'll see it right away. So the written instructions are correct. It's just there's a little typo in the actual diagram. So let me show you that first. So here's the diagram that you see on page number three. So you have the main body section that is a repeat pattern once you get it going and then we're going to concentrate then doing the nice frilly work that you see here. So let's go and look at the closer this one at this time and then I'll bring you back later on in this tutorial to begin to show you how to do that. So let's uh, focus on this one. So like any good diagram there's a stitch key to tell you what those stitches are and they're the only stitches that exist in this diagram. So where the air is is on row, uh, row number five. Row number five there should actually be another double crochet. So you're gonna chain up three. You'll put two more double crochets in the first one and then the second one over there is a double crochet and then chain three. So you'll see it in number seven just the way it shows in number seven is the way that number five should look. So therefore if this is wrong here when you just follow it across and go to number five again there's a double double crochet just before the the final of the three and so it's chain three double crochet and then put three double crochets in the final and if you're not sure just look at this round right here in black and that's exactly the way that it should be. So the written instructions are correct. It's just this small little typo here on the diagram. So without further ado we're going to work on this as a triangle and it's really an easy pattern to be able to maintain. So what I gotta get you to do is I gotta get you to a certain point that the pattern starts to repeat itself and once it repeats itself you can just use up two balls of Karen Simply Soft and if you, if you wish to make it bigger you can do so because it doesn't matter because the way that the diagram is then at the very ending it just matches exactly what you have. So if you have more shells no big deal. It just means that you have more work on the, ahead of you for on top of each shelf. So no big deal. So let's uh, get our yarn up and let's begin to show you how to do this and then I'll leave you for the repeat and then we'll do the edging together later. So here's the very back of the shawl. So this is what it looks like in the diagram and then we expand outward like so. You'll notice that it's not a flat edge. That's just diagram reasons but it's actually just curved up a little bit so that it can really hug around the back of your neck uh, when you're wearing this if you'd like to do so. So what's happened is that we get a repeat pattern going and so you can see that there's two spaces here and then it goes to three, then it goes to four and five and what's happening on one side happens the other. So right in the middle when you cut it down and you see that there's a beautiful spine on this is basically just the re mere reflection of it. So you're going to see that this is a really easy pattern to be able to maintain. It's either row one or two uh, when you go to do the repeat but we have to get you to a certain point before we can tell you to start doing the repeat. You're gonna go as long as you need to go and I just used up two balls of Karen uh, Simply Soft and then I'm going to do the um, the uh, pattern with you then to do the final of this one here but I'm gonna just use a different yarn to get started so that when you join me back for the edging we'll be finishing the one that I was doing on the plane. So using a five millimeter size H crochet hook we're gonna create a slip knot and then we're going to uh, just being able to crochet this. So let's uh, start off with a slip knot. This is the very center of the back of your shawl. I need you to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, and four and I want you to close this off with the ring. So insert it into the beginning and then just yarning over pull it through and through and you have a center circle of the back of the spine for your shawl. So let's move up to row number one. So row number one we're going to start and just treat the straggler like it's part of the ring itself and trap it underneath as we uh, make this. So what I want you to do is that I want you to chain a total of three. So one, two, and three and I want you to consider that as a double crochet because that's what it says and it makes sense later too. So we're going to do five more double crochets then into the center of this ring. So if that's one considered one and five more gives you a total of six. So into the center of the ring go right up over top of the straggler and therefore you can trap that underneath and you don't have to worry about sewing that in later. So that was one, two, three, four, this is five. So you should have with the chain three so it's one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's with your chain three. So here is the very point of your shawl. So what you wanna do is just chain two. So every time, no matter what row you're on, it's always chain two for the main point. Now you're gonna come back into the ring and you're gonna place six double crochets in and this will be the other side of the shawl. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's it. So what I want you to do, if you were going up over top, I want you to get rid of this loose strand now. Just grab your, your scissors and just trim that out. Get rid of that now so it's out of your face. And then we're going to begin then row number two. So let's begin row number two. So we're just gonna turn to work and then begin. So each time you start and finish a row, it's always gonna be the same. You're gonna chain up three. So one, two, three, and place two more double crochets into the same one. So if you're finishing up a row, it's just three uh, double crochets into the same one. But to start, it's always chain three and then two uh, double crochets and that gives you a total of three. So what I want you to do is that I want you to place a double crochet in each one of these stitches going across to the middle points. You can count them if you wish, but if you're confident, you don't need to. And I'm feeling confident, so I don't need to. Okay, so each one of the points, no matter what row you're on, so each one of the points, sorry, it will always be the same. So it'll always be two double crochets. So one and two and then chain two and then back into the same point and you're gonna put in two more double crochets. So remember this, how we're doing this row is the only time you're gonna do it like this. So follow the uh, stitch work all the way back. So you remember that there's six of them. So you're just gonna follow and put one double crochet in each except for the very final one. In the very final one there needs to be three double crochets and that is gonna be true for all of the rows going for the remaining of this shawl right into the edge. Don't forget to go into that turning chain that exists. So don't go into a space, go right into the chain work itself and place three double crochets into that one for when you're finishing up a row. And then what we're gonna do, that's it. You're gonna turn your work and begin row number three. So row number three is unique. It's the only time you're ever gonna do it this way for row number three. So we're gonna chain up three counts as a double crochet and in the same one you're gonna put two more double crochets in. So we'll just count those out. So we have one and two. Then you're going to chain two, skip two and go to the third one and place three double crochets in a row. So we have one and go to the next one, two and go to the next one, three. Then chain two and then you're gonna skip two and then you're left with two of the, the last ones here. So you skip two and you're left with two double crochets left before you get to the point. So fill those in. So one and two and then jump right into the point space itself and it's always gonna be the same. So it'll be two double crochets. So one and two followed by chain two and then again another two. So one and two. So you just have to mirror exactly what you just did on this side. So the first two are gonna be a double crochet. So one and two followed by chain two, skip two and go to the third one and this one plus two more in a row will each be double crochet. Okay, chain two and you skip two and you're left with the turning chain and there will be three double crochets in the turning chain. So one, two and three. And then that concludes off this row and this is row 
uh, number three. So, so we now just finished and we're gonna turn our work and go for row number four. So row number four we have to get ourselves still established. We're not quite ready for the repeat pattern yet but so rows number four and five are just getting ourselves started and then six and seven becomes our repeat and you're going to notice that it actually shows in the diagram that we finish off on round number eight or row number eight. So whenever you're done you have to make sure that you have your shells as the final and we'll cover that a little bit. So row number four we're going to chain up a total of three. So one, two, three and we're going to put in two more double crochets into that same top, uh, same uh, spot. Then in the same group of three the middle one which is the next one will have a single crochet and then the next chain two space will have five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Then the middle one here of the group of three is gonna have a single crochet and then you just sim simply put in five more double crochets into the next chain two space. So we have one, two, three, four and five. So skipping the next one go to the second one over. So we're hitting our way to the point. So we're gonna do a single crochet and then count over to the second one. We're not in the point yet. So one right before you're gonna place in a double crochet first and then you're gonna immediately jump to the, to the point. So the point will always be the same as I said. So it's gonna be two double crochets, chain two and two double crochet. All within the same spot. So now we're gonna mirror exactly what we just did on the other side. So the first one double crochet will be a double crochet again. You're going to skip the next one and single crochet into the second one over and then put five double crochets into this chain two space. So one, two, three, four and five. You, the next group of three, the middle one will be a single crochet and then you have another chain two space so fill that in with five double crochets. So we have one, two, three, this is four and five. So the middle one of the grouping of three will be a single crochet so it's the second one over and then what you wanna do in the turning chain you wanna place in three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Just like that. Okay, so that was uh, row number uh, row number four. So we have one, two, three, four. We're gonna turn and work and go for row number five. So row number five, we're kind of getting ourselves established and uh, we'll be doing this a row again in the future but we're gonna just finish up around uh, row number five first. So we're gonna chain up three, so one, two, three and place two more double crochets into the same one. Okay and then you're going to then put in a double crochet into the very next one. So in the pattern that I have right now it's got that missing in the instruction but it's in the written words so it's, it's, it's correct it just has to be put in. You're going to chain three so one, two, three and you have a total of five double crochets. So the middle three are going to be the ones that you play in. So skip the first double crochet and just double crochet into the second one over from that point and then go to the next one and next one. So three right in a row. Then you'll chain three and then just skip to the next grouping of five and go to the second one of the group of five. So the middle three are again just double crochets. And then chain three and then you're coming up to the one that exists just before the point. So what we have to do is what we have to be very careful here. Make sure that we get it right. So how you finish this one off is that you're gonna see that there's three 
double crochets. So go to the middle one of the group of three and double crochet and then jump immediately then to the point and that'll be two double crochet there. So if you look at it from this perspective is that you have your grouping of three like you did before. Now I want you to chain two and come down the other side. So in the point again, two double crochet and skip the first one and go to the second for a double crochet and then begin to do what you already know. So you can just chain three and then skip to the next group of five and go to the middle group of three. So middle group, middle section with the three. Okay, chain three and then go to the next grouping of five and go to the middle three. Just double crochet in each. And then you're getting close to the end so chain three. You're gonna go to the one right before the ending. So there's three of those there. So go to the one right before the end and put in a double crochet that's by itself and then in the turning chain I want you to put in three double crochet. So one, two and three. Okay, so that was row number five. So you can really see that it's taking shape. So let's uh, start on row number six. So six and seven will be your repeat and then you wanna make sure that we finish off uh, doing another one of six. So let's uh, just turn our work and do row number six. So row six and seven are you repeat but you do wanna finish off with uh, leaving off of row number six. So that's what you have to do. So you're gonna chain up three, so one, two, three and in the same one you're gonna place in two more double crochets. And then in the grouping of what you see down here, uh, so what we want to do is that in the very next stitch I want you to put in a single crochet and then go to the next chain three space and put five double crochets in a row. So one, two, three, four and five. And you have another grouping of three here so you're gonna put in the middle one a single crochet and then just another five in the chain three. So one, two, three, four and five. Okay and then just in the middle one of the grouping of three single crochet and then the next chain three. So the only difference is from this row to other rows that you'll see like this is that there will be more spaces to work into as you're getting yourself bigger. So remember there's five double crochets in this one. So you have what appears to be three which there is three. So you're going to single crochet into the middle one of the of what appears to be three. So not the first one but the second one over. So single crochet and then in the point will always be the same. So it'll be two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So we're gonna mirror our way down the other side. Okay, so you see that there's a group of three. So the middle one is a single crochet and then in the chain three space there's gonna be five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Okay, in the middle one of the grouping of three, it's gonna be a single crochet and then in the next chain three space there's gonna be another five. So one, two, three, four and five and single crochet in the next chain or the next middle of the grouping of three and then the next chain three space there's another five. So we have one, two, three, four and five. So the next grouping of what you have here, so you have what appears to be four stitches, okay, which is correct. So the one right before the end, okay, is a single crochet and then in the turning chain there's gonna be three double crochets. So one, two and three. 
just like that. And so this concludes off row, row number six. So if you turn it, you can really start seeing the work as it's appearing and it's really quite awesome. So let's move on to row number seven. So row number seven is kind of what you already have done before. So there's a slight variation for, to the way we did it before. So rows number six and seven is your repeat pattern. So we're gonna chain up three and we're gonna double crochet a total of two more times. So with that chaining of three in these two double crochet it gives you a total of three. And then in the next stitch I want you to place in one double crochet. And then chain your three. So one, two, three and move along the tops of these shells that you see and it's the middle ones, the three middle of the, of the groups. Each get a double crochet. So there's only a total of three of them. And then you chain three again. One, two, three. Middle group of three in the next one. So it's really quite easy, right? So it's being able to maintain what you already know. So chain three, next group, in the middle three, get a double crochet each. Okay, chain three. Okay, so here's where it appears. So what we have to do is that we have to consider the way that we're gonna finish. So what I need you to do is that the middle one of this this section here, sorry, the, sorry, not the middle one, but the one just before the end. Okay, do you see it? So this one here in two. So just go to this one right here and I want you to place in a double crochet. You're skipping that next double crochet and going to do the point. So just two double crochet. See, so that gives you what appears to be three in a row and then chain two and then two more double crochets into the same one to do the point and you're gonna just do the opposite side. So skipping the first one, go to the second and just double crochet and there's your next grouping of three to go down the other side. So chain three. Okay, and the middle one of the grouping, uh, so five, so there's three of those. Just do your double crochets and then I need you to chain three. So one, two, three and come into the next group And you probably hear Riverstone in the background. Unfortunately, she's not happy that she's locked out of my room. <laughs> it's our filming studio here. So she's probably got her face pressed up underneath the door. So chain up three. So one, two, three and then just go to the middle one of the grouping of five. The middle three of the grouping of five. Okay and then chain three. So one, two, three and then into the edge here. So you're gonna double crochet this, the one that's just before the end and then the very final there you're going to then put in three double crochet. So this was showing you how to do uh, rows six and seven. So you're going to just continue to repeat rows six and seven but at the very end when you get it big enough is that you have to finish off doing row number six. So in order to finish this off and it can be any size that you wish as long as you're finishing off row number six which is the shell work. So just to recap then to, to do number six again you're just gonna chain up three and place in two more double crochets into the same one. You are going to then in the next stitch single crochet down in and then in the next chain three space you're going to put in your five double crochets and you're gonna work your way all the way uh, over to the point. Remember that after you get your grouping of five in you're in the middle one of the grouping of three you're going to single crochet and then in the next chain three space you're going to do your five double crochets once again. So you're just gonna work your way all the way just like you had already did before on row number, row number six. This is just a repeat of showing you how to, and to get started once again and then you get all the way to the peak and just uh, don't forget to think about your single crochet that will have to go in. Uh, it's the it's the middle one of what appears to be the grouping of three. The points always the same two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, single crochet into the middle one of here and then work your way down to the edge and don't forget at the very end that you gotta put in your three double crochets like you had. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna pull up my sample that I worked on on the plane and I'm gonna show you how to do the edging. So get it as big as you need to go. Um, this pattern calls for two balls of this color or, or of any color really and then you can go as big or as little th that you wish. 
So let's uh, begin to do the edging next. So as we continue in this pattern, I've already done my homework so I'm continuing to film and I'm just gonna pull up my sample that I worked on in the plane. So right when you see the original blue here, this is the last row which is the same as the doing uh, rows number six. Okay, so it's exactly the same and then all we want to do then is do three rows back and forth uh, to be able to do this nice uh, scallop work that appears. So you're gonna wanna change the color, you know, it's up to you if you'd like to make it a uh, solid color that's completely your business. So we're gonna begin then, we're gonna do our, our sections here and then it doesn't matter as big as big as or little as you wanna go because everything is working based on the scalloping that you see of the five double crochets and so really it's quite a versatile pattern to be able to change the size. So without further ado, let's grab another color and let's start and do row, our row number one for your edging. So let's start our next color and just gonna create a slip knot and I'm gonna attach it then to the very first stitch here that exists in the edge. And you're just gonna go to the first one, just wrap it and I've already got this uh, kind of woven in so that I will go right over, over top of it. So I want to just attach it with a slip stitch and let's begin row number one. So you want to do a total of chaining of three. So one, two, three and in the same one I want you to push in two more double crochets. So go right up over top of that straggler. So one and two. So I don't need to show you all the way to the point because each one of these scallops is the same going all the way to the point. So what I, I am gonna do this uh, just so I have the sample done for at the end of this filming today. So what we have to do is that we have to go to the single crochet and you can just pull it and you can see it, it's right here and we want to do the single crochet first. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna single crochet into the single crochet. And then we're gonna begin the scallop work that you'll be continuing to do all the way across. So you're going to chain one and you're going to go to the middle one of the grouping of five. So it's the, the third one in and you want to double crochet. Then you want to chain one and then double crochet again. Chain one and double crochet again. And then chain one and double crochet again and chain one. So you'll have a total of four double crochets there that have a separation of the of chain one. So then you're just gonna come to the next single crochet that exists and just single crochet right in. So let me show you that one more time. So you're gonna chain up one and you're gonna go to the middle one of the grouping of five and you're gonna do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet again, chain one, double crochet again, chain one and double crochet again and chain one and then you just immediately jump to the next single crochet and single crochet in that one and then begin all over again. So chain one and go to the middle one and then keep on doing exactly what you already know. So please do that and what I'll do is I'll get you to the point and uh, just meet me there in just a few seconds and I just need to do this off camera so I can get you to that point. Okay, so we're now just about to hit the point and so this time, so I just got my single crochet in first. I've already done my uh, one chain but let me just back that out because I was just doing that out of habit. So after you get your last single crochet in, you wanna chain two and then single crochet right into the point itself. So just right into the point space itself, chain two and then single crochet into the next single crochet that you'll find on the other side. And then you're just gonna repeat what you already know all the way to the other um, side. So what you're going to do is chain one, go to the middle one of the grouping of th five. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and then single crochet in the next single crochet that you can find. Okay, so you're gonna do that all the way to the other side. I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming up to the final side here on the other side. I'm just gonna chain one, single crochet in the one just before. Then I want to uh, do a total of chain one and then I wanna put three double crochets completely. So there's no chain ones between the double crochets on the edge one. So one, two and three. So we're gonna turn our project then and go for row number two of the edging. So row number two we're gonna begin. We're going to chain a total of three. So one, two, three counts as a double crochet as always. And then you're going to do um, two more double crochets into the same one. Two 
just like that. So now the very next one is gonna be like you were working down in the main one. So the very next one is gonna be a double crochet. Then you're gonna do a total of a chaining of two. So one and two and in the single crochet that you have here I want you to do a double crochet. So here's your repeat pattern to the point. So you're gonna chain two and then in the middle one, okay, so it's the middle actual um, space itself. Okay, so right in the chain one space, so if you look at it, it's the middle. You're going to put in a double crochet, chain one, double crochet again, chain one and double crochet again. So there's only a total of three of those double crochets there. And then to go to the other section here, you have to chain two and then double crochet into the next chain or single crochet um, stitch. So chain two, go into the middle group, a middle one, it's in the space and you're gonna single crochet or double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then chain two and then double crochet into this single crochet down here. So I want you to do that all the way to the point and I'll see you at the point in just a moment. So I'm coming up to the point. So I have done a double crochet here into the one and then here's the point. So what I have to do is that I have to just maintain what I already know. So I've just already chained two and then in the actual single crochet right at the point you wanna put in another double crochet and this time it's gonna be chain three. So one, two, three and then double crochet again into the single crochet that's in the point and then begin again coming down the other side. So chain two and then just double crochet in the next chain or single crochet and then chain two and then just start again just like how you already know. So right in the middle one you're gonna put in your double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet and then chain two and a double crochet in the next single crochet down here. So what I want you to do is continue all the way down just like that to the to the other side. I'll see you there in just a moment. So as we finish up this side here as we're continuing along so we're gonna chain two, double crochet and the single crochet and then you're up at the final section right here. So what we want to do is that chain two and you're gonna put in a double crochet in the one just before the uh, so that's the second last one, one double crochet by itself and then in the very last turning chain you wanna apply three double crochets into the same one. So one, two and three and that was row number two. So what you wanna do is turn your work and let's begin row number three, the final row. So let's get ourselves started on the very final row. So let's uh, begin, we're gonna chain up three counts as a double crochet and then double crochet two more times into that first one. So you have your total of three again. So the next uh, three in a row will each be one double crochet. So this is how the point is going to work as far as like the edge um, section. And I just dropped some yarn here so I'm going to reset and then just continuing along. So here is the repeat pattern. So each one of these scallop looking area things gets something unique and it does, you just have to repeat the same thing going all the way to the point and then I'll meet you there. So, so to begin you're going to chain two and you're going to single crochet in the top of this double crochet. Then you're going to chain two, one and two and single crochet into the space that is existing. So you see that there's two spaces in this grouping of three. So there's one and two. So go into the first space single crochet, chain two, come into that same space and single crochet and then I want you to chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five and come to the next chain one space on the other side. So this is the center. So you're gonna single crochet in first to that space, chain a total of three. So one, two, three, single crochet back into that same space just like that and now chain two and go to the next double crochet. So that was one whole section done that you see. So let's repeat that again. So you're gonna start off by chaining two, one and two and come to the first space that exists. So it's this one right there. So single crochet, 
chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in that same space and then chain a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Come to the next space on the other side of that center point, single crochet, chain three and single crochet in that same spot. Now chain two and then single crochet in the top of the double crochet that is between them. Let's do that one more time. So chain two, you're gonna go to the next space, single crochet in, chain three, single crochet in the same space, chain five, go into the space that's over top, And then I want you to chain a total of three. So uh, one, one, two, three, same space, single crochet and then chain two and single crochet in the next double crochet that exists over there. Okay, so I want you to do that in each one of these going all the way to the point. Now see at the point and we'll show you how to do that and then you can continue down the other side. To do the point it's actually pretty easy. So you're gonna chain two and in the first uh, double crochet so you can see here's the point right here. So in the first double crochet you're going to put in a single crochet and then chain three and in the chain three space you're gonna put in a single crochet then chain five, single crochet in that same chain three space and then chain three so one, two, three and in the double crochet you want a single crochet again so it holds it stable right in the point. So then you're gonna begin the other side so chain up two one, two, single crochet in the next double crochet and then begin what you already know. So chain two, go into the space, right, and you single crochet, chain three, same space, single crochet, chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and then come into the next space on the other side, single crochet, chain three and single crochet again and then chain two and then single crochet in the next double crochet. And therefore you've kind of just uh, gone over all the way around the point. So continue all the way to the edge. I'll see you there in a moment and this is it for this pattern then at that moment. So we're now coming up to the other side. Let's finish this uh, shell all together and uh, just coming up and I'm just chaining two and I'm single crocheting on the top of the first double crochet that I'm running into. Okay, and so let's finish off this one. So you're going to um, do the chain two and in the next double crochet and a few of its friends, a total of three in a row will each be one double crochet each. So one, two, I keep dropping my stitches. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> Let me retry that again. So we have one, two, and three, so three right in the end here and in the very final stitch that you have is that you have three double crochets and that's gonna conclude off your shawl. So I'm just going to just quickly show you how to weave in your ends just in case you need to learn how to do that. So three right in the end and you're done. So let's just uh, trim our yarn long enough so that you can get it into a darning needle. The best way is to, for a darning needle. I know some of you don't like to sew but that's <laughs> it's tough luck I guess. Um, you can weave in your ends. I've always had them fall out. So if you just, just grab a darning needle just for a few moments, just throw it onto the darning needle and if you go back and forth a total of three times, just go up underneath the stitch work. So try not touching the outside of it as far as the needle work coming on the outside. Stay on the inside. So just one and go back in the other direction for two and go back in the other direction for three. That's the best way to get rid of your loose ends. It can never follow if it goes back and forth the total three times and you can cut it right down so it's barely, it's, it's pretty much invisible. So this is the crochet it shawl just for you and uh, it's a wonderful shawl and now you have something to be able to wear. So enjoy and we'll see you again next time. I'm Mike on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.